use this? Uh, yeah, I have a new background. I don't know if I like it or not though, so I need your guys' opinions on it. I wanted something a little bit more cool tone because I feel like I was being overrun by red, orange, and yellow in my videos. Let me know, let me know. I, I, I don't know, I'm trying something out. Also, just before this video starts, thank you so much to everyone who has been so supportive on my community tab over the past few days. Unfortunately, I did get some really, really bad news about my dog, Max. He has between one and six weeks left with us. Um, so it's been a little bit of a hard time, but thank you so much. I just wanted to say that before we start, there may be a few sporadic videos. So if that happens, unfortunately he has passed away, but I'm gonna try and keep on top of things for now. I like to have my brain busy so I don't overthink and cry every minute of the day. But I am gonna jump straight into it because I don't want this to be a negative video. I've had too much negativity over the past few days. So I'm gonna jump in with my pan those eyeshadows update and I have two shades rolling out today which means two shades rolling in but just before we do jump into the video if you have not already like and subscribe it would mean the world to me and I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel I have also just launched my worldwide makeup competition hashtag creative for Kate so if you want to win a 25 pound makeup voucher definitely go and check out that video I'll link it up in the cards very exciting it is my little baby but two rollouts today I'm unbelievably excited for this because last month we actually didn't have any rollouts which I was gutted about but this month we are making up for it so if you are new to this project here on my channel I have four eyeshadows in this project at a time I have let me <laughs> try and remember this one random single eyeshadow one hand chosen shade from my main collection, one random shade from my main collection, and something else. <laughs> I think it's two random shades from my whole collection. I don't know. I make up the rules for this every single month. I think I change it every single month, but <laughs> that's the beauty of this channel. You never know what you're gonna get. And I also have a rule that says if I use a shade 15 times, I am able to choose to roll it out if I want to just not work on it anymore. 15 uses is a hell of a lot, especially when you have so many eyeshadows in your collection. And that is what one of the shades is going to be today. So I am gonna share with you some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. And we are gonna roll in some new shades. I can't wait. Alrighty, oh then. So first shade that we are going to talk about is my single eyeshadow shade. So I did randomly select this shade and the shade that was selected was this. This is Venus from the Pastel Roses. It is a really, really beautiful, ready pink to orange duochrome. I absolutely love this. I was really scared to roll it in because reds and warm tones and especially pinks, they are not my thing at all but I've definitely learned to love this a little bit over the past few months. And this is what it looks like today. Hopefully you can see there is a little bit of a dip in this. I'm actually really, really happy with this progress. I've used this five times this month for a total of 10 uses in the project, which I did not think I would get to at all. This shade is so pretty and I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that. And guess what? I'm gonna remember to swatch. <laughs> Are you proud? Of course, we all know that the Pastel Roses is one of my favorite brands. One of my favorite brands. I absolutely love them. They do so many beautiful duochrome shades. And I, as I said, I really wasn't sure about this shade, but this shade goes really, really well with the remaining shades in my Modern Renaissance palette. And I've really been pairing them together a hell of a lot. And it's been like a go-to look for me. I love wearing it to work. I love wearing it every day. It's not too pink to the point where it's not me. It's almost like a grungy pink look. And that is something that I like. I don't like being perceived as a girly girl, okay? That is why I don't like pink. I don't want someone to look at me and go, oh, she's a little princess. Ugh. That word goes through me, okay? My boyfriend is banned from calling me a princess. I don't like it. <laughs> but this 
makes me look more like a, a rocker chick, you know, you know. So five times in one month for a total of 10 uses over three months. I'm actually really, really impressed with that. I think next month we will either hit the 15 uses or pan, which I'm so excited. I hope we hit pan. I think we're only about halfway down into the, the product, which is a little bit annoying. I don't know if we're gonna hit pan or not. What do you guys think? Do you think we'll have pan over the next month? I hope we do, that would be amazing. But if we don't, that's okay. I guess I'll have to live with that. <laughs> But this is definitely less scary, I think, than it was before. I was definitely very scared of this, but now I'm very comfortable with it. And I'm really glad about that because this was definitely one of those shades in my collection that I was like, oh, I'm just never gonna use. But now we've made up. We've kissed and made up. We like each other now. <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> I remembered. So rewind to the start of this video. My head is everywhere. Can you not tell? So I have one randomized single. I have one randomized shade from my main collection. I have one hand chosen shade and I have one shade from my focus palette. I bet some of you guys were screaming that at the camera. I don't know the rules of my own project, guys. <laughs> I've only been doing it for like three years, come on. But this is my focus palette, my Carnival XL Pro, and I decided to roll this in as my focus palette just because it is so big and it's getting a little bit old. So I wanted to get some use on some of the shades. So the shade that I picked from this palette was the shade Inspire, and you're gonna be able to see what it looked like last month. It's a really, really nice shimmery taupey shade and you guys may know I absolutely love my cool tone neutrals this shade in particular is so stunning it is right up my street so in theory I would have been able to absolutely whack this out the park and this is what it looks like today you're probably not going to be able to see a change at all all and unfortunately I've only used this two times for a total of 11 uses in the project. You may be thinking Caitlin this is so up your street why? And um, yeah, I'll explain in a sec. <laughs> this is a beautiful shade. And like I said, if I'm going for my like everyday neutral look, this like this row, oh, a bit of me, a bit of me. I absolutely love these cool tones. However, however, I've been working so hard on my modern renaissance and there are no cool tone shades left. Technically there is Bonfresco left, but that pulls more pink. So I've really not been able to play with my cool tone comfort zone recently. I've done a few looks with Pug, which is also in a separate pan that palette, but this has definitely been neglected. Let me swatch it. It is so stunning though. Look, at this is a bit of me. Okay, here we go. That is that shade swatched. It is so stunning. I do absolutely love it. It's not the fact that I don't love it. That is not the reason I haven't used it this month. It's just, I, I've, I've been busy. <laughs> I've been a busy girl. This shade, I just, I really want to use it. I really, really do. I think the fact that it is such a huge palette as well, that it kind of gets uh, pushed to the side a little bit. But then again, I am using Pillow Talk every day to set my lid. So maybe I should be using this a lot more. I just think it's it's what I've been working on this current month. It's just not been cool tones, unfortunately. But this, I think once I set my mind to it, it will not take long for me to finish at all. Like I said, I've used it two times this month for a total of 11 uses in the project. I think that's pretty good still. I'm not complaining about that. It's just not been its time right now. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm working on so many eyeshadows. I cannot give every single eyeshadow like the correct amount of time every month, unfortunately, but it's just the name of the game. So now we've had two non-rollouts. Let's talk about the two rollouts. So I'm gonna start with the one that's a little bit less exciting, I guess. So this was my randomly selected shade from my whole eyeshadow collection. And this is the shade Mulberry from the Soft Glam palette. You can see from the pictures last month, it was a very warm toned brown deepening shade. And this has gone so well with my modern renaissance as well. So that is a definite big thumbs up from me. This is what it looks like today. And would you believe me if I said I have used this 15 times? Yeah, I have. Um, it barely looks used at all. I don't know what is going on with this shade. <laughs> 
So normally Anastasia shades are so easy to hit pan on, but this, hello, hello. You can see the tiniest little brush marks, but that is it. That is it. It looks brand new. I have used it 15 times. I've used it 10 times this month alone because it has gone so well with especially Venus these two shades together, look at that, stunning. I normally use this on my outer corner. I then blend it out with red ochre from Modern Renaissance, and then I put Venus all over the lid. That has been like my go-to look this month. Or I have used this with other neutral looks as well that I have done. This, I can't believe how new this shade looks. It is ridiculous. It is like, what? what? <laughs> Even swatching it, it is such a dry shade, but it is a really, really nice, just everyday brown. Here we go. That is what that one looks like. It goes very well with Inspire, actually. I don't think I've used them together, but in the pan, it looks a lot more red than it actually is, and that was definitely a learning curve that I had with this shade. I was a little bit put off because it just looks so warm, but it works really well with cool tone shades as well, so hey ho it's it's a multi-use girly i can't believe i've used this 15 times there is that joke in the panning community that anastasia shades are so easy to hit pan on the rest of the shades that i've hit pan on in this palette easy peasy but this wild i feel like there's always one shade in an anastasia palette that is so difficult to hit pan on in this palette it's mulberry in the modern renaissance it was realga but here we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put this girl down. She's retiring. As I mentioned before, I do have that 15 use rollout goal. If we were very, very close to pan, I probably would keep it in, but this is gonna take like a hundred uses to hit pan on and I don't have the time. I don't have the time to do that. <laughs> I have other deep browns that I'm working on. So 15 uses, we've hit it. It is time to put this one to bed. I'm actually still in awe about that. I have no idea how I can use something 15 times and it still looks brand new. It's witchcraft, it's witchcraft. And finally, our final shade that we are gonna talk about today is the shade Axis from the Subculture palette. And you can see what this shade looked like last month. It is a beautiful deep teal. And this was a shade that I hand chose to roll in to this project. You guys know these shades are my bread and butter. I absolutely love these tealy blue cool tone shades right up my street. I absolutely adore them. And this is what it looks like today. We have the tiniest baby pan in this eyeshadow. And I actually hit pan on this today doing my eye look. So I'm so happy that I have at least one pan to share with you. I do have this as my wing and I didn't have pan on it when I did it as a wing. So I decided to bring it all the way down onto my lower lash line as well. And that is when I hit pan on it. It is the tiniest baby pan, but we do have pan. I did use this brush. So it's a super tiny pencil brush, which obviously means the pan is a little bit more like precise, but it's because I needed super tiny wings you know, precise. I've used this as a winged eyeliner most of the times that I have used it. It's gone really, really well with all different types of looks, really. I've even used it in that red look that I was talking about before. I didn't know if it would look good with reds, but it actually looked really, really good. And I've also used it with neutrals. Oh, my earring is magnetizing again. Here we go, here we go. I think that happened last update. <laughs> but I'm very, very happy with this. I'm very, very happy that I do have a pan in this palette, another pan. Now we have pan and cube, but you can't really see that very much. I have used this eight times this month for a total of 11 uses in the project. 11 uses to hit pan. It did have a, quite a lot of use on it before this update though. So I'm happy with that. Look at that, a nice shiny pan, and I nearly forgot to swatch it. That is that shade swatch, a little bit wonky there. I'm very, very sorry about that, but I love this shade so much, and I'm very, very happy that I've hit pan on it, even though I'm a little bit sad to let it go. Okay, so the two Anastasia palettes are rolling out. Oh, ABH, I love you but we've got to say goodbye. <laughs> so I am going to get my tiny decisions pretty random. I've never learned the difference between them, even though I've been panning for like three years. Pretty random. 
that's the one. Okay, so I have 456 eyeshadows in palettes in my collection. So I'm gonna roll, see what we get, 47. That actually is probably an ABH palette. Let me let me check that. 47. Oh, it's not. I'm actually really excited about this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that shade and I'm also gonna hand choose another shade and we'll be back with a new color story. I'm buzzing about this. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I am back with my randomized shade and my hand chosen shade. I'm actually really excited about this and I think you are going to be as well. So uh, I'm going to talk about my hand chosen shade first. I'm going to keep the suspense, you know. So this palette was a palette that I mentioned in my palettes I forgot existed in my makeup collection video. I'll link that up in the cards. It was a very fun video. And I said that this shade in the middle has my heart and soul. I absolutely love this shade in the middle. And I also said that all of these mattes I'm already panning, so I really don't reach for this palette because there's not really much point. The mattes I've got in other projects, but that doesn't stop me from using this beautiful shade. So I'm gonna roll this shade in to this project. It is so stunning. It is a super shimmery, lilac-y, cool tone purple, but it has like a goldy yellow shift and almost like a black base. <sighs> Stop it. Look at that stunning shade. I'm so excited to play around with this. This is gonna go so well with Bon Fresco, which is a very similar matte to this shade up here. So I'm just thinking like Bon Fresco in the crease with this on the lid, maybe like a big bold wing. <gasps> I'm living, I'm living, living, breathing, dying, throwing up for that look. So I am so excited. I am really excited just to play around with this palette, to be honest. It's been so neglected and I don't want that to happen anymore. So yeah, this is the first shade and the second shade. Book of Magic's back, baby. Book of Magic is back. And we have a lot of pants in this. This is a used and abused little palette. And the shade that we rolled in was this shade, Elixir, which is a bright kind of pale primary blue. You guys know I love my blues. Oh, these shades go so well together. Look at that, that's stunning. Maybe I can play around with those two together. It is so bright, it is so blue, it is so me. Oh, it goes with my background, look at that, it's fate. The stars have aligned, look at that. <laughs> so let me just swatch the other shades in this project so we can see a new color story. Okay, this is my new color story. This is my old color story. What do we think? I feel like this is like a brighter version of this maybe. I don't know, I'm so excited to play around with these two new shades. This shade in particular, I have been talking about using it for so long, but I just never have. I never have, and that's an issue. So now I'm forcing myself to use it. Let me know some looks that you would do with this color story. I always wanna be inspired by new ideas and new techniques, so definitely sound off in the comments down below. Which color story do you prefer? I think I do prefer this one, just cause it's more like grungy. But I am excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a pretty buzzin'. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.